So here we're going to work on the clamshell exercise. Proper position, you're going to be on your side. Your knees are bent about 90 degrees and your femurs are just a little bit in front of the plane of your body. You're going to take your hand and put it on the pelvis, anchoring it down and forward to make sure that it doesn't swing back as you do the exercise. So keep that anchored forward. You're going to keep your feet together and you're going to lift the top knee away from the bottom knee. Slow and controlled, pausing at the top and then coming back down really trying to use the muscles deep in the back of the hip and really trying to make sure that you're using up as much motion in the hip as you possibly can. So don't stop short. Go ahead and stop short, John. So really try to come up as high as you can before you come back down. Make sure that as you're bringing the knee up that you're not spinning the pelvis back. So really make sure that you keep the pelvis anchored forward and allow the hip to be the only joint really doing the work. A couple of common mistakes people make with this. One, as we talked about, letting the pelvis roll back, which will allow the person to use their tensor fascia lata to drive the motion, which is a muscle that we're not trying to use. Another problem people tend to do is they'll anteriorly rotate their pelvis, arch through their back, which puts the body in the improper position. So make sure that you're doing the posterior pelvic rotation, keeping your back flat, keeping your core strong as you do the clamshell exercise.